Hello and welcome back to our weekly real estate market update. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the latest trends in the high desert region of Southern California, specifically Hesperia, Apple Valley, and Victorville. So let's dive right in. Inflation making slow progress lower. First up, let's talk about inflation. The Fed's favored measure of inflation, personal consumption expenditures, showed a 0.1% increase in May. The year-over-year -year reading fell from 4.3% to 3.8%, a significant improvement from the peak reached last year. This decline in inflation is important because it affects fixed investments like mortgage bonds and can infect interest rates in the housing market. Tight inventory preventing housing demand from being fully realized. Moving on to housing demand, we're seeing a continued struggle with tight inventory. Pending home sales fell 2.7% from April to May, with the West, Midwest, and South experiencing declines. Only the Northeast saw gains. This lack of housing inventory is preventing housing demand from being fully realized. In fact, we're seeing approximately three offers for each listing, highlighting the demand among buyers. New home sales soar in May. Despite the challenges in the existing home market, new home sales have been soaring. New home sales rose 12.2% from April to May, reaching a 763,000 unit annualized pace. This is a 20% increase compared to the previous year and the highest level since February 2022. The rise in signed contracts for new homes correlates with the low levels of existing homes listed for sale, boosting confidence amongst home builders. Now let's take a look at home prices. The Case-Shiller Home Price Index showed that home prices nationwide rose by 0.5% from March to April, making the third consecutive month of gains. While prices were lower compared to April 2022, it's important to note that prices rose significantly in the first half of 2022. Additionally, the Federal Housing Finance Agency reported a 0.7 increase in home prices and from March to April compared to April 2022. A surprising drop in unemployment claims. Lastly, let's touch on the job market. Unemployment claims saw a surprising drop in the latest week, with 239,000 initial jobless claims reported. However, the four-week average of initial claims rose to its highest level since November 2021, indicating ongoing challenges for job seekers. Continuing claims remain elevated as well, reflecting the difficulties many are facing in their search for employment. And that wraps up our real estate market update for this week in the high desert area of California. We've seen progress in inflation, ongoing challenges with tight inventory, soaring new home sales, and continued monthly home price gains. The job market continues to present both positive and negative signs. To learn more about the current real estate market in the high desert region, or for any specific inquiries, don't hesitate to contact me, George Redesno, licensed real estate agent with Century 21 Desert Rock, license number 0211-3726. You can reach me at 760-308-7483. I'm here to assist you with any of your real estate needs. Thank you for joining. If you wanna find out what all this information means for my buyers or for my sellers, give me a call, 760-308-7483.